The Kama Sutra, Sanskrit, Kama Sutra pronunciation, Kama Sutra is an ancient Indian Sanskrit text on sexuality, eroticism and emotional fulfillment in life. Attributed to Vatsyayana, the Kama Sutra is neither exclusively nor predominantly a sex manual on intercourse positions, but written as a guide to the art of living. Well, the nature of love, finding a life partner, maintaining one's love life, and other aspects pertaining to pleasure oriented faculties of human life. Kama Sutra is the oldest surviving Hindu text on erotic love. It is a sutra genre text with terse aphoristic verses that have survived into the modern era with different basya exposition and commentaries. The text is a mix of prose and anustab meter poetry verses. The text acknowledges the Hindu concept of purusharthas, and lists desire, sexuality, and emotional fulfillment as one of the proper goals of life. Its chapters discuss methods for courtship, finding a partner, maintaining power in a married life, when and how to commit adultery, sexual positions, and other topics. The majority of the book is about the philosophy and theory of love, what triggers desire, what sustains it, and how and when it is good or bad. The text is one of many Indian texts on Kama Shastra. It is a much translated work in Indian and non-Indian languages. The Kama Sutra has influenced many secondary texts that followed after the 4th century CE, as well as the Indian arts as exemplified by the pervasive presence Kama-related reliefs and sculpture in old Hindu temples. Of these, the Kajuraho in Madhya Pradesh is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Among the surviving temples in North India, one in Rajasthan sculpts all the major chapters and sexual positions to illustrate the Kama Sutra. According to Wendy Doniger, the Kama Sutra became one of the most pirated books in English language soon after it was published in 1883 by Richard Burton. This first European edition by Burton does not faithfully reflect much in the Kama Sutra because he revised the collaborative translation by Bhagvanlal Indrajit and Shivaram Parashoram Bide with Forster Arbuthnot to suit 19th century Victorian tastes. Date, author and history The original composition date or century for the Kama Sutra is unknown. Historians have variously placed it between 400 BCE and 300 CE. According to John Key, the Kama Sutra is a compendium that was collected into its present form in the 2nd century CE. In contrast, the Indologist Wendy Doniger who has co-translated Kama Sutra and published many papers on related Hindu texts, the surviving version of the Kama Sutra must have been revised or composed after 225 CE because it mentions the Abhiras and the Andras dynasties that did not co-rule major regions of ancient India before that year. The text makes no mention of the Gupta Empire which ruled over major urban areas of ancient India, reshaping ancient Indian arts, Hindu culture and economy from the 4th century through the 6th century. For these reasons, she dates the Kama Sutra to the second half of the 3rd century CE. The place of its composition is also unclear. The likely candidates are urban centers of north or northwest ancient India, alternatively in the eastern urban Pataliputra now Patna, Vatsyayana Malanaga is its widely accepted author because his name is embedded in the Kalafan verse, but little is known about him. Vatsyayana states that he wrote the text after much meditation. In the preface, Vatsyayana acknowledges that he is distilling many ancient texts, but these have not survived. He cites the work of others he calls, teachers, and scholars, and the longer texts by Adalaki, Babravya, Dataka, Savarnanaba, Gotakamuka, Ganardiya, Gonikaputra, Karayana, and Kukumara. Background The Hindu tradition has the concept of the Purusharthas which outlines four main goals of life. It holds that every human being has four proper goals that are necessary and sufficient for a fulfilling and happy life. Dharma, signifies behaviors that are considered to be in accord with RTA, the order that makes life and universe possible, and includes duties, rights, laws, conduct, virtues and right way of living. Hindu Dharma includes the religious duties, moral rights and duties of each individual, as well as behaviors that enable social order, right conduct, and those that are virtuous. Dharma, according to Van Butenen, is that which all existing beings must accept and respect to sustain harmony and order in the world. It is, states Van Butenen, the pursuit and execution of one's nature and true calling, thus playing one's role in cosmic concert. Artha, signifies the means of life, 
activities and resources that enables one to be in a state one wants to be in. Artha incorporates wealth, career, activity to make a living, financial security and economic prosperity. The proper pursuit of Artha is considered an important aim of human life in Hinduism. Kama, signifies desire, wish, passion, emotions, pleasure of the senses, the aesthetic enjoyment of life, affection, or love, with or without sexual connotations. Gavin Flood explains Kama as, love, without violating dharma moral responsibility, artha material prosperity and one's journey towards moksha spiritual liberation. Moksha, signifies emancipation, liberation or release. In some schools of Hinduism, moksha connotes freedom from samsara, the cycle of death and rebirth, in other schools moksha connotes freedom, self-knowledge, self-realization and liberation in this life. Each of these pursuits became a subject of study and led to prolific Sanskrit and some Prakrit languages literature in ancient India. Along with dharmasastras, arthasastras and mokshasastras, the kamasastras genre have been preserved in palm-leaf manuscripts. The Kama Sutra belongs to the Kamasastra genre of texts. Other examples of Hindu Sanskrit texts on sexuality and emotions include the Ratirahasya called Kokashastra in some Indian scripts, the Anangaranga, the Nagarasarvasha and the Panchasayaka. Vatsyayana predominantly discusses Kama along with its relationship with Dharma and Artha. He makes a passing mention of the fourth aim of life in some verses. Topic. Vedic heritage The earliest foundations of the Kama Sutra are found in the Vedic era literature of Hinduism. Vatsyayana acknowledges this heritage in verse 1.1.9 of the text where he names Shvetaketu Adalaki as the first human author of the Kama Sutra. Adalaki is an early Upanishadic rishi, scholar poet, sage, whose ideas are found in the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, such as in section 6.2, and the Chandogya Upanishad, such as over the verses 5.3 through 5.10. These Hindu scriptures are variously dated between 900 BCE and 700 BCE, according to the Indologist and Sanskrit scholar Patrick Olivelle. Among with other ideas such as Atman self, soul, and the ontological concept of Brahman, these early Upanishads discuss human life, activities and the nature of existence as a form of internalized worship, where sexuality and sex is mapped into a form of religious yajna ritual sacrificial fire, agni, and suffused in spiritual terms. Brihadaranyaka Upanishad 6.2. 13, tilde 700 BCE, Transal, Patrick Olivelle. According to the Indologista, a view with which Doniger agrees, this is one of the many evidences that the Kama Sutra began in the religious literature of the Vedic era, ideas that were ultimately refined and distilled into a sutra genre text by Vatsyayana. According to Doniger, this paradigm of celebrating pleasures, enjoyment, and sexuality as a dharmic act began in the earthy, vibrant text known as the Rigveda of the Hindus. Epics Human relationships, sex and emotional fulfillment are a significant part of the post-Vedic Sanskrit literature such as the major Hindu epics, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. The ancient Indian view has been, states Johann Meyer, that love and sex are a delightful necessity. Though she is reserved and selective, a woman stands in very great need of sarada amorous or sexual pleasure. And the woman has a far stronger erotic disposition, her delight as the sexual act is greater than a man's. Topic. Contents Vatsyayana's Kama Sutra has 1250 verses, distributed over 36 chapters, which are further organized into seven books. Topic. Discussion Across human cultures, states Michel Foucault, the truth of sex has been produced and shared by two processes. One method has been ars erotica texts, while the other has been the scientia sexualis literature. The first are typically of the hidden variety and shared by one person to another, between friends or from a master to a student, focusing on the emotions and experience, sans physiology. These bury many of the truths about sex and human sexual nature. The second are empirical studies of the type found in biology, physiology and medical texts, focusing on the physiology and objective observations, sans emotions. 
The Kama Sutra belongs to both camps, states Wendy Doniger. It discusses, in its distilled form, the physiology, the emotions and the experience while citing and quoting prior Sanskrit scholarship on the nature of Kama. Topic. Adultery The Kama Sutra, states the Indologist and Sanskrit literature scholar Ludo Roche, discourages adultery but then devotes not less than 15 sutras to enumerating the reasons for which a man is allowed to seduce a married woman." Vatsyayana mentions different types of nayakas urban girls such as unmarried virgins, those married and abandoned by husband, widow seeking remarriage and courtesans, then discusses their kama, sexual education, rites and mores. In childhood, Vatsyayana says, a person should learn how to make a living, youth is the time for pleasure, and as years pass, one should concentrate on living virtuously and hope to escape the cycle of rebirth. Translations The first English translation of the Kama Sutra was privately printed in 1883 by the Orientalist Sir Richard Francis Burton. He did not translate it, but did edit it to suit the Victorian British attitudes. The unedited translation was produced by the Indian scholar Bhagwan Lal Indraji with the assistance of a student Shivram Parshuram Bide, under the guidance of Burton's friend, the Indian civil servant Forster Fitzgerald Arbuthnot. According to Wendy Doniger, the Burton version is a flawed English translation. But influential as modern translators and abridged versions of Kama Sutra even in the Indian languages such as Hindi are re-translations of the Burton version, rather than the original Sanskrit manuscript, the Burton version of the Kama Sutra was produced in an environment where Victorian mindset and Protestant proselytizers were busy finding faults and attacking Hinduism and its culture, rejecting as filthy paganism anything sensuous and sexual in Hindu arts and literature. The Hindus were cowering under their scorn," states Doniger, and the open discussion of sex in the Kama Sutra scandalized the 19th-century Europeans. The Burton edition of the Kama Sutra was illegal to publish in England and the United States till 1962. Yet, states Doniger, it became soon after its publication in 1883, "...one of the most pirated books in the English language," Widely copied, reprinted, and republished sometimes without even Richard Burton's name, Burton made two important contributions to the Kama Sutra. First, he had the courage to publish it in the colonial era against the political and cultural mores of the British elite. He creatively found a way to subvert the then prevalent censorship laws of Britain by creating a fake publishing house named the Kama Shastra Society of London and Benares, Benares equals Varanasi, with the declaration that it is for private circulation only. The second major contribution was to edit it in a major way, by changing words and rewriting sections to make it more acceptable to the general British public. For example, the original Sanskrit Kama Sutra does not use the words lingam or yoni for sexual organs, and almost always uses other terms. Burton adroitly avoided being viewed as obscene to the Victorian mindset by avoiding the use of words such as penis, vulva, vagina and other direct or indirect sexual terms in the Sanskrit text to discuss sex, sexual relationships and human sexual positions. Burton used the terms lingam and yoni instead throughout the translation. This conscious and incorrect word substitution, states Doniger, thus served as an Orientalist means to anthropologize sex, distance it, make it safe for English readers by assuring them, or pretending to assure them, that the text was not about real sexual organs, their sexual organs, but merely about the appendages of weird, dark people far away." Though Burton used the terms lingam and yoni for human sexual organs, terms that actually mean a lot more in Sanskrit texts and its meaning depends on the context. However, Burton's Kama Sutra gave a unique, specific meaning to these words in the Western imagination. The problems with Burton mistranslation are many, states Doniger. First, the text simply does not say what Burton says it says. Second, it robs women of their voices, turning direct quotes into indirect quotes, thus losing the force of the dialogue that animates the work and erasing the vivid presence of the many women who speak in the Kama Sutra. Third, it changes the force of words in the original text. For example, when a woman says, Stop! or Let me go! in the original text of Vatsyayana, Burton changed it to 
she continually utters words expressive of prohibition, sufficiency, or desire of liberation," states Doniger, and thus misconstrues the context and intent of the original text. Similarly, while the original Kama Sutra acknowledges that, "...women have strong privileges." Burton erased these passages and thus eroded women's agency in ancient India in the typical Orientalist manner that dehumanized the Indian culture. Other translations include those by Alain Danielu, The Complete Kama Sutra in 1994. This translation, originally into French and thence into English, featured the original text attributed to Vatsyayana, along with a medieval and a modern commentary. Unlike the 1883 version, Danielu's new translation preserves the numbered verse divisions of the original, and does not incorporate notes in the text. He includes English translations of two important commentaries, one by Jayamangala commentary, and a more modern commentary by Devadatta Shastri, as endnotes. A translation by Indra Sinha was published in 1980. In the early 1990s, its chapter on sexual positions began circulating on the Internet as an independent text and today is often assumed to be the whole of the Kama Sutra. Topic in popular culture Kama Sutra, A Tale of Love Tales of the Kama Sutra, The Perfumed Garden Tales of the Kama Sutra 2, Monsoon Kama Sutra 3D Topic See also Topic Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography APTE, Vaman Shivram the Practical Sanskrit Dictionary 4th Revised and Enlarged Ed. Delhi, Mutilal Banarsidass Publishers. ISBN 81-208-0567-4. Avari, Burhor India, The Ancient Past. London, Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-35616-9. Danielu, Alain the Complete Kama Sutra, the first unabridged modern translation of the classic Indian text. Inner Traditions. ISBN 0-89281-525-6. Wendy Doniger, Sadir Cocker Kama Sutra. Oxford World's Classics. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-283982-9. Haxer, A. N. D., Favre, Malika Kama Sutra. Penguin. ISBN 978-110165-1-070. Flood, Gavin An Introduction to Hinduism. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-43878-0. Flood, Gavin, ed. 2003. The Blackwell Companion to Hinduism. Malden, M.A., Blackwell Publishing Ltd. ISBN 1-4051-3251-5. Hopkins, Thomas J. The Hindu Religious Tradition. Cambridge, Dickinson Publishing Company, Inc. Key, John India, A History. New York, Grove Press. ISBN 0-8021-3797-0. McConaughey, James The Book of Love, In Search of the Kama Sutra. London, Atlantic Books. ISBN 978-1-84354-373-2. Sinha, Indra The Cybergypsies. New York, Viking. ISBN 0-600-34158-5. External links Original and translation Sir Richard Burton's English translation on Indohistory. Com. The Kama Sutra Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox the Kama Sutra in the original Sanskrit provided by the Titus Project Kama Sutra at Project Gutenberg